you want to be good? You want to be great? Or do you want to be legendary? I told you by the time you left, you would know what legendary is. You know, every conference we think about, we come here, we get excited, it's a great family reunion, we're hanging out with each other, and we're like, what's going to help us sustain it? What's going to help us go out and really build this? So I want to start with a selfie. Most selfies ever taken at one time. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to point at you, and I'm going to make sure it's on the big screen up there, the Megatron, for those up there. For you here, I'm going to point. And I want you to turn, take a selfie of you and I, and I'm pointing at you, because there's going to be times when you leave here that you're going to need a timeout, and you're going to want to remember, I'm pointing at you, and I'm saying, you're worth it, you got this, you can do it. So right now, take your phone. Are we up there? Yep, thank you. All right, snap it. Because I do, I believe in you. I know you're worth it, I know you got this. All right, you got it? All right, then we'll keep going. All right, there you go. Of course, Steph's got a special one. <laughs> excellent, excellent. You know, me, my team, we're going to be legendary. In 2016, we all had some battles. But a battle is what you face on the road to legendary. For some, it was health. Some of you, it was your finances. Maybe things happen amongst your team, your family. You know, I said this before, in 2016, I had my own battle. I didn't expect to leave conference. Last year, getting the news I got. I had planned on being out in the field every day. Cindy and I were gonna travel more, but that's not what happened. I got that call and they said, hey, you got the big C. And you know, it was, it was scary, but that's okay because our family got really tight. You know, I told you the other day, Kyler was able to be with Cindy and I. He traveled to every appointment, every treatment. His business afforded him the time to spend with us and help us kind of live through those moments, as scary as they were. <laughs> Kinsey. <laughs> Kinsey stepped up, moved to Dublin for us, worked with International and, and helped take that team to a whole nother level. Cammie started moving towards working with the corporate team more, being with me that way. And we decided as a family that together we were going to kick cancer's butt. <laughs> you know, uh, faith. We've been talking about a lot this weekend, but faith is real. You know, it's one thing to know that God is great when we're running around the ranch or the island. That's kind of easy. But this testing time showed us how great God was, and he truly has great answers. I, I realize now every day is a blessing. But I also realize that I don't want every day to just be good. I don't want every day to be great. I want every day to be legendary. We said we're putting 2016 behind us because we are on the journey to legendary. I can tell throughout this weekend that there's people here ready to go legendary. They are the ones who stand up. They are the ones that show up. You know, what does showing up look like? Those of you in this arena, those of you that are on pay-per-view, you showed up. Those of you who even when you don't feel like it, 
You go out and blitz every day. That's showing up. Those of you leaders who put on one team, one mission events, that's showing up. Those of you going to boot camp or any event in your area, that's showing up. Those of you attending green carpet, that is showing up. You know, 80% of success is showing up. You're doing what it takes to be legendary. You know, some people will settle for good. Some will settle for great. But why settle if you can be legendary? You know, to do this, you got to have the will, the heart. You know, there's a lot of boxers out there. They throw a lot of punches. But there's only one Rocky. Why? Why do we say Rocky? We know who it is. Because he had the will. He had the heart. It, it reminds me of one of my favorite movies. Rudy. <laughs> the guy spent two years trying to be on the football team. He got an education at a great university. Yet he almost quit. Like some of us. Why would he quit? Why would you quit? Is it because there's some naysayers out there? Is it because you blitzed someone and they said no? Is it because one of your leaders left? Maybe your check went down, even though you're still making more than you ever did at your old job. So you're going to quit and get a job and go to work the next 20 years for someone else. You know, when I was teaching, I was making $40,000 a year with the potential that maybe in the next 10 years, if I worked really hard, maybe I could make 10,000 more. Or here at It Works, you could be with the greatest company in the world and have friendships, fun, and freedom every day. It's your choice. You can become legendary. Rudy became legendary. He's the last person to ever be carried off the field at Notre Dame. Two years practice with the best team, four years of a great education, but he almost quit because of an obstacle. Rudy didn't let an obstacle stop him. Because of that, true story, five more of his family finished university, went to college that had never gone before in his family history. He changed his family history. You can change your family history. Rudy went on to become legendary. You can go on to be legendary. So let's for a moment just shout your own name for a minute and then high five with the person next to you and celebrate like you've just got to the finish line, the greatest thing in the world. Joel, 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 Steph, Steph, Mel, Mel, Woo! Eric, Eric, Lori, Baba, greatest thing in the world. You're winning the game. We're going to pick you up on our shoulder and carry you off the field because you blitzed one more person, you did the steps of success, and you stay focused. Man, Rudy went back to finish. You've got the same thing. So what are you doing to become legendary? What are you doing? What are you, who are you impacting? The road to legendary can be scary. What you saw Nick do yesterday, that's scary. I don't like heights. You might be sitting here thinking, you know, Mark, scary to me is hosting a rap party. What if nobody shows up? Or some of you this weekend, it was leaving your, your husband and kids alone to come here to conference. Now that is a little scary. <laughs> Some of you, it's the thought of going back to a J-O-B. That would scare me. I didn't want to work for someone else. What scares me even more is if family or friends needing me and I can't help them. That scares me. When they ask, I want to be able to say yes. Yes, I can help. You know what scares me anymore? Settling. 
I thought Joel covered that really well. I don't want to settle. I want my full potential. I want to leave it all out there, playing hard. I can't imagine a life I could have accomplished, but I quit. What scares me is getting so close to legendary and quitting. It reminds me of a book. It's called Three Feet from Gold. The book illustrates how we can turn obstacles into opportunities. You see, there was a man, he was digging for gold. He was determined to get rich. He found a small vein of gold, but after digging, digging, and digging, it disappeared. So finally, out of frustration, the man decided to quit. Little did he know that he was only three feet from the greatest source of gold that could have made him rich beyond his dreams. You see, most people would let fear or a slump or some obstacle force them to quit. But first of all, you in this arena, we are not what? We are not most people. So let me ask you, let me ask you, are you three feet from gold? Maybe your gold is the next person that could take your business to a whole nother level. Maybe, maybe your gold is a blitz card. You're this close. You know everything's in you telling you that person could be awesome. Give them a blitz card. Give them a blitz, everything, give them a blitz card. And you walk away. Whatever your gold is, I'm asking you, are you willing, this conference, 1 2017, are you willing to go those extra three feet? Where, where are my newbies? Where are my executive people who just joined the company? I like your enthusiasm. That's good. How about the rest of you? I got one. Any other newbies? <laughs> there they go. They're coming to life. You know, I want to talk to you for a minute. This is how you start the journey to legendary. You're going to have incredible victories here. And we love to celebrate. We do our victory dance. We high five. We hug each other. We're passionate about helping you along this journey here. But I'm telling you this. There's also going to be times when you get in a slump. You might miss a promotion. You might not hit your rank advancement. You might have some naysayers. If I was in the Rudy movie, I would say, you're five foot nothing. <laughs> you might miss your promotion. You might not have got the rank advancement when you wanted, but you got the greatest vehicle to get into where you want to go. <laughs> But you need to know you got to fight through it. But you know what? You do it. The victory, the victory is worth it. But you need to know that, that you will have a fight. And I want you to go out every day to complete your steps of success because you need to take care of yourself before you can take care of others. You see, here's what I think. Good, good is paying off your credit cards. That's good. Great is paying off your mortgage or your student loans. That's great. Legendary is being able to pay off your mom's bills. These leaders in front of me right here, they started just like you, and they now are getting to take legendary action. You know, let me give you an example of legendary. I'll never forget this. This is the It Works way. A few years ago, we were choosing names for a drawing, and Ambassador Diamonds, Tina and Bubba Hatcliffe, won $20,000 in that drawing. But instead of keeping it for themselves, I'll never forget this, we all have things we could use a little extra money. They said, choose another name. They chose to give it to another family they felt needed it more. That, that was legendary. Now, I know some of you newbies can't imagine it. You might be thinking, how can I be legendary? 
I just want to be a Ruby. <laughs> Some of you are sharing rooms, you're sleeping on the floor, you're bunking up in hotel rooms just to be here at conference. Am I right? Yeah. Well, I'm proud of you for doing whatever it took to get here. That's the start of the legendary journey. You know, people have told you, probably they've told you, you're crazy, you can't reach success in that business. Well, here's what I got to tell you. There's a lot of crazy people in this room. Where are my crazy people? You know, you might be sitting here right now thinking that you don't believe in yourself. I, I get it. I get it. I was in your shoes. When I was sitting at a conference just like this, Cindy and I watched the top people walking across that stage. We were standing in the back of the room. And I, met, I watched them. I, I looked at it and I kept thinking, man, I want that. I want that. But our reality was that we were barely able to afford gas for the car. But what made us different? What's making you different? Watching this conference, watching these leaders and saying, I want to be successful. It's having the will, the will in the heart to do whatever it takes to change your life. You may not be able to think legendary yet, but we're going to think it for you. We're going to help you because you know what? I believe in you. These leaders, they believe in you. Every one of you. I know one of you sitting there saying, nah, he's not talking about me. We're talking about each one of you. Each one of you are worth this. What we get to do here at It Works, it's about to be legendary. We get to change lives every day. We're helping people take control of their health, their finances. We're providing a vehicle of hope. Now, I want to talk to our emerging leaders, which is rubies and emeralds. Where are you at? Well, I like that. They are. You're on your way to diamond. I always say diamond gives you a license to print money. You haven't arrived at diamond, but it's a great step on the road to legendary. Now, here's the problem. We think the path to success looks like this, but it doesn't. It looks more like this. Am I right? Our leaders can tell you that. They're battle-scarred. They've seen the obstacles. They've fought through it. Some of you aren't where you want to be right now. But that's not failure. That's a slump. Now you say, Mark, you've been using that word slump. What do you mean? Every great player has slumps. But they don't let it define them. The way, you know, you look at uh, the work of Hall of Famers. Every great player that's in the Hall of Fame has had a slump. They just didn't let it define them. Let me give you a couple examples. Babe Ruth struck out more times than anyone in Major League Baseball. But when you say Babe Ruth, you think of a legend. He's in the Hall of Fame. But he kept getting up to bat again and again. He didn't let striking out stop him. Michael Jordan, you think of Michael Jordan. You think, man, he's hit more game winners. He's won more championships. Did you know that Michael Jordan has missed the most game-winning shots in history? But he didn't quit shooting. And that's what got him to the Hall of Fame. I just saw Federer. He won the Grand Slam, 18th Grand Slam. But it had been six years since he had won. The Williams sisters, they had been in a slump. And they both just made the finals. That's legendary. I can guarantee you this. In 2017 sometime, you'll have a slump. But guess what? The only person that can get you out of that slump is you. If you're going to be legendary, you got to commit. You know, I gave out that loyalty and legacy awards. They didn't get a jersey for quitting. They got a jersey for committing and fighting for their dreams. Are you sitting here right now and you're thinking, I know I can do this. I know I got it in me, but am I worthy? Anyone feeling like that? You know, here's the thing. You are worthy. No one else is you. 
And that's what you have over everyone else, is you. Yesterday you saw Mike and Pam out in the audience, and maybe uh, you too need one of them to come right up to your face and, and start telling you you're worth it because you are. If you don't feel you're worthy of it, you won't receive it. In order to succeed, you got to know you're worth it. Your family is worth it. Say, say it with me right now. Say it out loud. I am worth it. Now say it like you mean it. I am worth it. Say it like a black diamond. You just got to black diamond and you're like, yeah, baby, I'm all that. I am worth it. Now shout it right to the person next to you. Tell them, I'm worth it. I'm worth it. Where, where's my leaders at? Diamonds and above. I want to talk to you. Where's my diamonds and above? You know, leaders, you've worked really hard. You have that fight, but you have not arrived yet. Some of you say that you're going to take your business to a whole nother level, but actually, you're settling for good. I've had a lot of people in the conference, at the parties, they say, Mark, I'm taking this business to a whole nother level. And man, I'm watching them, I'm cheering them, I'm hoping for it, but some of them are selling for good. They are worth so much more. Are you going to settle for good or great? Or are you going to go for legendary? Now, legendary doesn't mean being a one-hit wonder. It's getting there and sustaining it. Some of you say, Mark, that's not easy. Neither is being legendary. But it's fighting through it and working to get there. You know, uh, legendary is being able to lead your team and stay positive. I was thinking about when I was working my business, I'd get invited to these groups. Sometimes it was in person, sometimes it was online. And, and these groups, these groups, they always wanted to talk about what's wrong. They'd go, recruiting's down, checks are down, I had a leader leave. I didn't want to spend my time on that. I came up with a secret. I want to tell you what that little secret is. While they were talking about recruiting being down, I was recruiting as many people as I could. <laughs> While they were talking about their checks being down, I was out there building my business. They can be in their groups and talk negatively. I'm going to take action. So some of you in a slump, you're this close to being carried off the field just like Rudy. Don't let it get the best of you because you can't outrun a slump, but you can run through it. A slump is part of the journey. It's going to happen. Some will get in a slump. They quit. Some people will say, maybe, maybe the grass is greener over there. I'll go over there. But I guarantee you, they'll have a slump over there. So if you're in a slump, some of you, didn't get on stage this conference. And you know what? We love you, and we're cheering for you. If you've been here before and you didn't get here this year, then we want you out there working and saying, 2017, I'm going to be right there. I want you saying, I've been in a slump, Mark. I know I've gone down a little bit, but I'm worth it. My family's worth it. And when I say a whole nother level, I don't mean good or great. I mean legendary. Are you ready to go legendary? If, if you quit, you're not quitting on me. You're not quitting on it works. You're not quitting on your upline. You're quitting on yourself. If Rudy would have quit, nobody would remember Rudy now. We wouldn't be talking about the last guy to be carried off the field. It'd just be another guy that quit, got mad and quit. But I'm here to tell you this. You and you and you and you and you and you and everybody I pointed at in that selfie, you are not most people. Here it at works, we are not most people, you are not most people, and you've got what's inside you to go to legendary. Do you feel that? 
Let me give you an example. I said this the other night. Megan Baker, Ambassador Diamond, she had earned her way up to number 18. And then she dropped out. I think she was like 42 or something. And, and she could have quit and said, man, I had a nice run. But she said, not in my house. And she worked her way back up to the top 20 this year and was one of the first to take her Ambassador 2.0 spot presidential. Nice job, Megan. Nice job on your panel, too. Let me give you another example. Ambassador Ronnie Brown. Have you met her? Ronnie was in the top 10, and then she fell out. I see that happen. It's hard. It's not easy to get top 10. You work your tail off. If you ask anyone that top 10 what they've done, they'll say, we worked hard. You know, there are so many people that, that put that out there. And Ronnie could have said, you know, I had my time. I was in the top 10. I'm going to write a book about it. I'm going to go talk to some high heel people that are friends of mine. I watch you, Ronnie. I don't know where you are. I watch you. But she said no. She said, not in my house. She went on. She wants to be legendary. She came back, took her business all the way up to number three, even higher than she was before. <laughs> nice job, Ronnie. You see, heroes are remembered, but legends, legends never die. I want to be legendary. So you decide, who do you want to be? How do you become legendary? When you get knocked down, you get back up. You already took the first step, made the decision to join the party. Now you go to work every day. You blitz, you rap, you repeat. Your legendary status starts with getting a diamond. And then when you're a diamond, go double diamond. And then triple diamond. Presidential ambassador. You keep promoting until you're at the top. My, expect, my expectations for you is no matter where you're at, you're always going forward. If things get in your way, you keep going forward. If you get knocked down, you get back up and you keep going forward. It doesn't matter if it's your health, it doesn't matter if it's your finances, it doesn't matter if it's family, you keep going forward. Every sport, every sport has Hall of Fame. It's what the greatest players strive to be. You know what, I see each one of you in the It Works Hall of Fame. <laughs> you see yourself in the It Works Hall of Fame. I see you on the hall, the wall of legends. You're in the Hall of Fame. You're in the wall of legends. And when you see your name up there, you realize that's your destiny. That's where you should be. You're the ones who showed up. You're on the journey. You, you can't go to a university for this stuff. You can't get a degree in college. Oh, I'm taking a degree in legendary. They don't offer that. You go legendary because you know in your heart, inside, that you got what it takes and you're gonna be legendary. You're gonna get in a slump. You're gonna have some naysayers. Sometimes you're gonna be three feet from gold. Are you gonna quit? Or is 2017 gonna be the year that you truly give it your all? You know, there's times, I showed that earlier, you're going to need a quick timeout. You're going to have to have that talk. Sometimes it's with yourself. You're like, what, what are you doing? You're getting back in an old pattern. Wait a minute. You said you weren't quitting, but this isn't very legendary. You're going to have to talk to yourself, get you fired up. Maybe it's your upline. You call and say, all right, give me the timeout talk. Maybe you call and say, all right. Pretend you're Mark for a minute. All right, get back in the game. Blow the whistle. What are you doing? Commit. Don't quit. You got to do what it takes to get you back in there. Then <laughs> blow the whistle. You're back in the game. Are you going to do what it takes to be legendary? You've got two choices. There's always two voices going on. The voice of more. More is you're worth more. You can have more. You can do more. You are more. Then there's a voice of less that's saying, you don't deserve this. You're way past your ability. What's going on? you got to decide every day. That battle's in your mind. I'm here to tell you, today is the dawning of a new day, a new year, a life of more. 
I'm telling you, you're made for more. The only thing that is keeping you from being legendary is if you don't go. I want you taking action, and I want you ready to go. Now, I'm thinking about giving you a promotion, but I got to know that you're ready to go. I got to know that you're not going to... I got to know you're not going to quit, that you're going to commit. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to commit? Don't quit. Who's going legendary with me?